my boys, we have a wonderful machine in our possession, having a totally full explore the full potential of this miraculous machine. We shall tell no one. I'd like to talk about uh, the environment, uh, the general environment that we have. This is called the Metamorphic 26 environment. Um, but there are a lot of different sequences here that are interrelated and we're going to start off with this concept right here which is the 2 times 6, 6 and we have that right here 2, 6, 6 2 times 6, 6 is well 6, 6 is equal to 26 because um, the 26 car carries the statement 2, 6 is two, what are 2, 6 is? 6, 6 and uh, 6 plus 6 is 12 so what we have here is uh, 26 plus 26 is equal to 46. You see, uh, here it is right here. So two sixes, this 6, 6 represents 26. So 2 times 26 is equal to 46. And what we have here is the equal sign. And over here we have the I-46. Now if you were to, you see where the uh, 36 is uh, sequenced to 14, like this. And that also uh, states... Uh, 46 because we have the I am statement and right here we have the 46 now the uh, other thing is that by itself if this is this is what we call a uh, metamorphic six it's a one and a zero there one and a zero those are metamorphic six, sixes and so in other words what you have is six plus six which is equal to 12 so what happened is that it put a one there and a 2, that's 12, and there's your equal sign. So it's 6, 6, is equal to 12. I'd like to go back to the concept of 46 here, where you got 2 times 6, 6, is, which is 20. This represents 26. So it's 2 times 26 is equal to 46. And so, uh, as you can see right here, we have a 36. Now, if you think it's, it could create another 46, like you can see right here, this is 46. And this is just a statement that says, uh, to me or me too, it says me too, 46. So, so if you believe that it's going to make a 46, uh, what you want to do in this situation is play all fours, because, because you got to have at least a four in there, and it'll be on the uh, right-hand side. Uh, it could also be by itself like, as a four. But um, play all play all fours. That'd be four, fourteen, twenty-four, and thirty-four. If you do that, you'll hit. Now, um, I'd like to move on to this other uh, sequence. Uh, this this nineteen. If you throw that underneath, what you have is an I am statement. There's your I am, and it forms a thirty-nine. And then there's you have the uh, double zeros. That's the C statement. That's in seeing something, and um, but it also represents. Uh, if, if you throw this 9 above, you, what you get is uh, 39, 30, 39. Let's see, here's an example right here, 0, 0, 31. So what you have is 30 here, 30, and then this is a metamorphic 9. It's a 1 link to a 0 up here. Now, if, it were, uh, if the zeros were below, it would be 36. But in this case, the theme here was 39, because this is your I am statement, and here's your 39 and um, so, so if you see these sequences, you could uh, you could either throw them up or throw them down. But this is 39 because this says it right here. And so what happens is that it's sequenced to a thir uh, 36, which is a reverse sequence. This is an inverted. I'm sorry, it's a inverted sequence. It's like the 69 inversion sequence, uh, like I call it the Jimi Hendrix experience sequence. And after that, it uh, sequences to a three. And this is a uh, metamorphic nine zero with a one, so this is an inversion sequence. Um, it's the six nine inversion type sequence. I'd like to go back to this uh, one zero one zero, which is six six, which is equal to twelve, or it could, it's equal to twenty six. Um, it, as you can see right here, has the equal statement here, and what follows is this two six. So this here represents 26 also. It represents 12, and it also represents 26, as you can see right here. And there's the equal sign right there. I'd like to go back to this uh, to sequence here. This is the 30-30 sequence. And whenever you get a 30-30 sequence, it's equal to 60. 
So as you can see right here, we have a sequels, uh, we have a 60, and over here on the right, we have the equals equals sign, um, and so it represents either like an addition pro, uh, like addition problem uh, situation where you have a 30 plus 30 is equal to 60, and uh, again this this three three these are the value um, these no sorry these this is the value number and these are like a statement so 33 is just uh, equal equal statement so equal this and equal that and you have the equal symbol here so 30 plus 30 is equal to 60 I'd like to talk about these uh, 2 1 that uh, represents 21 or it could also represents 12 but in this case it represents 21 and uh, 21 carries a statement two ones and what is two ones one one so as you, as you can see right here we do have a two one here and it uh, sequence to the 11 right here I'd like to go to the sequence right here it's the 36 linked to 15 what that shows is the uh, on the left hand side is the statements this is the values and these are the statements so you have the I am statement right here and it links to a 56 uh, and as you can see over here below you have 2 times 28 which is equal to 56 now the mo this uh, 1 2 is uh, carries a R, um, the R statement A A R E and R 24 and if the alphabet if you go from A B C all the way to 24 you get the uh, X which is the multiplier so this is acting like a multiplier functionality right here this is the R statement and here's the 24 so this is basically the, the multiplier and it's multiplying 2 times 28 and it equals 56 I'd like to talk about uh, the zero concept over here sometimes the zero represents uh, empty space so if this is empty space what you have here is either 6 1 which is 61 or it's going to be 16 in this case it's probably going to be a 16 and so we have it linked to this cell and this cell so 16 is equal to 20, uh, 28 because the 28 uh, it, it, it represents two eights and two eights is equal to eight, uh, two eights is eight eight and eight plus eight is equal to sixteen so as you can see right here we have sixteen and then the empty space which which sequences to this uh, twenty eight I'd like to talk to you about a concept here which is basically where you have a zero here and a zero here and a one right here now that uh, represents eighteen uh, this is a reverse way of making an eighteen and 18 usually connects to either an 18 or it's going to connect to a 29 because 29 carries the statement two nines as nine nine and nine plus nine is equal to 18 so if you ever see a zero like here and a zero here and a one that's 18 and it'll sequence to an 18 or it'll sequence to a 29 so you want to play those two numbers I'd like to talk to, uh, about the concept of 34. Uh, whenever you get like a uh, 24 uh, and a 4 sequence like this, 24, 4, you usually get a 34 like it did right here. And it allows itself the 4 to be borrowed. So this is makes 34. And the reason why is because the 24 carries the statement 2 4s, 2 4s, which is 4 4. And then we have a four here, right? If you add those four, here's one, two, three. Those are three, three, four. So that's thirty-four. So again, uh, if you ever see a uh, twenty-four, four sequence, uh, it'll it'll probably be an addition situation where you gotta have add all these fours, and that's three fours, three fours. You see it right there. And remember, it allowed itself to be borrowed here. This four links to this three, so it's thirty-four. And also, uh, one other thing also is that this uh, 17 is a anatomical, this is an anatomical 34. In other words, we have a, uh, the 17, if you look at it, it has all the elements of making a 4. In other words, this 4 sequences to a 17 because it's an anatomical sequence. In other words, if you make a 4, it has a 1 and a 7. So, this, if you look at this 17 upside down, it's an upside down 4. That's what that is, and uh, so uh, if you get a four, sometimes it'll sequence to the seventeen, and that's what we call an anatomical four. And as you can see right here, it even links to this three to make thirty-four. So basically, we have thirty-four here, and we have thirty-four over here. 
I'd like to talk about this sequence here where you have the 14 sequence to a 2 7. The reason why it does that is because the 27 carries the statement 2 7 and that is 7 7 and 7 plus 7 is equal to 14 and here we have the equal sense right there. I'd like to talk about the 19. Uh, it carries uh, the add statement like it, it represents the add statement. The number by by itself like number 9 is also the plus plus symbol. Uh, but in this case, it says I add. So the nine is just the uh, plus. So once it's creating an addition sort of situation here, where you have thirty-one plus one is equal to thirty-two. So again, this is the uh, I nine I I add, and uh, it sees it sees. Here's the C statement. It sees what thirty-one, and it sees the one here. So it adds thirty-one plus one and equals 30, 32 right here. I'd like to talk about the concept of 32. Uh, it carries a statement equals 2. And equals 2 is 2, 2. And as you can see over here, we have a 32. We have a 32 there and a 32 here. But this 32 links to this 22. Again, uh, the, the 32 is usually linked to a 22 because it has equals 2, which is 2, 2. I'd like to talk about the concept of 0, 0. It has a tendency to sequence to a 20 like it does, does right here. And the reason why it does that is because this, the 20 carries a statement two zeros. And what is two zeros? Zero, zero. So this, that's something that you should be familiar with. I'd like to uh, go back to this concept right here of the uh, addition, which is the 1, 9. This is the plus sign. And this is I add. I add what? 31 plus 1, 1. In other words, the 3, 1 is equal to 1 1 1 which is 3 ones and here's this 1 1 if you add those up what you get is 5 ones and so here is its sequence to this 5 and the 1 this is the R statement what what's uh, important is that it because it made the statement to add these numbers you know that there's going to be a 5 of some sort to make 5 1 so in this case this uh, if you play all fives that would be 5 15 25 and 35 if you did that you could do it with four numbers, so uh, it's it's a good uh, thing to do. The sequence with the one right here, you have to, because it has the sequence to one. There are too many numbers to uh, call, you know, to play out. So, but the easy easy hit would be this one right here, because uh, because uh, three ones plus one ones makes five ones. So this is an easy sequence. I'd like to go to the thirty-three uh, and the eleven and the two. And what we have here is the 11 represents, the 11 is equal to 3 in binary notation. And so this could form like 23 right here. And 23 is equal to 33 because uh, uh, 23 is 2 3s, which is 3, represents 2 3s, which is 2 3 3. So, uh, and this here we have like 23 here, and it's sequenced to a 33. So it says two threes, and that is three three. And usually you get a whole chain reaction of 32, 30, you know, 30, 23, 32, and then it goes on and on and on. And uh, as you can see over here, we have the 33, which links to this 23, which links to this 32. And then it uh, has a statement here. This is a two form statement. So it links to there and then forms a 32, and then forms a 32 here. And over here we have 23, so it's, it, it causes a real a chain reaction. And that pretty much is it. I uh, hope you like the uh, sequences here, and we'll go on to, the next, I'll see you on the next sequence. And folks, as always, please click the subscribe button below, show some love, give me some thumbs up. I have links below with PayPal and Patreon. And I will see you on the next wonderful world of random sequencing.